you're still doing your lead gen manually, you're gonna get left behind. This one automation with AI made 112,000 last quarter. And by the end of this video, you're gonna be able to copycat this into your own business. So Go High Levels released tons and tons of AI tools. We're literally game changing and we're allowing you to basically accelerate growth in your business. I'm gonna show you some of these things today. And the first thing we're gonna think about if you're an online coach or consultant, the number one thing you wanna focus on doing to grow your business, two things. Booking sales calls and closing sales calls. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can really improve the front end to book more sales calls. So the first thing we're gonna look at is gonna be what's called uh, conversation AI and creating automation DM flows and how you can use AI within this. So I've got an example of an AI DM flow here for our big fat hooks uh, lead magnet. So this is something we'd put on our stories, we'd put maybe on Instagram reels and people would comment and then the auto responder would click in. So how this is structured, you'd have it as a normal uh, automation trigger, basically someone comments, uh, replies on Instagram, and then they get sent the guide, right? So we tag them, we wait. The important kicker here for everyone as well to get this to really fire is to make sure that the person replies to the first message. So you'd have, just show your comment, here's the link for doc, can you reply to let me know it opens okay, it's have had a few issues. This is bang a copy that works phenomenally well. Now, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna wait for reply and then we're gonna come down to condition. Now, this is where we actually start to use AI within here because we can use conditional logic. So essentially what this means is, let me just get rid of that, is as this starts to branch out, you can use AI to read the response on Instagram, whether it's a positive response or a negative response. So if they say yes and continue with the conversation, we can actually split this into a different branch, which we have here. If they don't reply or put a negative response, we can have a different type of conversation or branch flow through here. So um, as if someone's come through this flow here and they put yes, we're then gonna take them through a set of DM conversation questions, which is then gonna kind of pull this whole thing through. So this is like the fairly basic version of using conversational AI. You can do a lot, much more elaborate version of this and use a whole AI within Go High Level to handle conversations and also to give suggestions in terms of replies, which I'm about to show you shortly. So what you wanna do is, first thing, when you're gonna set up your uh, Go High Level account and you wanna come in here, you can go to AI agents and you wanna be looking at different variations you have. So you have voice AI, which is absolutely wild and Go High Level are doing something called the Summer of AI where you can get uh, access to all these AI tools at a massive discount. And also below this video, there is a 14 day free trial where you can get access to all the softwares for nothing. Uh, so I'd highly suggest checking this out if you haven't already. And then you can also implement some of the stuff we're gonna show you in this video. So the first section, we look at the AI agents. You've got a voice AI, which is wild. Now, what this is actually allowing you to do at the moment is you can create an AI agent to handle voice conversations, but it can only handle inbound conversations. Soon they're gonna have features where they're about to do outbound calls as well. And then the second thing we have is conversation AI. So conversation AI is what we're gonna be using in terms of like DM settings. You can use this on Instagram, WhatsApp, SMS, Messenger. So if we look into conversation AI, the way this essentially works is you basically build your own bots in here. And I'm gonna walk you through essentially what this looks like. So you've got two different types of bots. You have like a general Q&A bot and an appointment booking bot. So a general Q&A bot would be the type of bot you'd have maybe on a customer service website. Um, we want an appointment booking bot, bot because we wanna be booking uh, sales calls and having sales conversations. So that's the first step. Second step is you wanna be putting your brand brand name. So it would be like, I don't know, uh, school of us, this. company website, company email, email address, phone number, all this type of stuff. So basic information, tone of the voice you wanna be using. So professional to, innovative, so I'd put probably for us, probably professional, uh, and then add additional information. So who is your target audience? Let's say uh, people looking, sorry, professional men looking to lose weight in their 30s, custom pain points, lack of confidence, uh, low energy, overweight, and emotional pain. As an example, uh, brand promise, what are the promises that you have in your brand? Now, if you're struggling in terms of how to fill any of this out, what I would do, I would actually go into ChatGBT and I would ask it to give you the prompt of uh, what you put in here. So essentially what I would do in terms of how I do this, I would go, and this is a huge hack for everyone who's using AI. You have to think like prompt engineering. So let's say I wanna make a brand promise and I don't know how to fill this in or the brand values. I would literally go into ChatGPT and write me 
the best prompt uh, of information I can provide to fill in the AI section of uh, Go High Level for brand values. Oh, we got one. Brand values, uh, brand promise, uh, what your brand does, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's say we just do these first two. Uh, give me a prompt for each of them and make it specific where I need to fill in the information. So this is how I literally would use AI, is use AI to basically fill in other AI to give me the right information to do this. And this is really how you have to think. So, uh, da, da, da. so this knows obviously this is based upon my own business and the information we put in here. Um, so it's gonna fill this in. So obviously this is where you'd um, fill in the blanks for yourself. So our brand serves this audience. These are three to five non-negotiables. Our tone and energy and content delivery should feel like direct, grounded, action-led, like Hermosi meets David Goggins. Our competitors often do the wrong thing, overpromise, under too much fluff. I hate the word fluff in fucking AI. Uh, if anyone has fluff in any of the content, I know it's written by AI. And then if you look here, there's an example in terms of like prompt for brand promise. So you wanna use this type of stuff to try and help you fill in this information. Generally, the more you put in here, the better. And then uh, select business type. Um, let's put personal training for now. So click save. And it's basically going to start to create, this is our brand voice. So next, box settings, we'd call this whatever we want. Uh, keep it as that for now. Um, we don't necessarily see any this message. Primary bot, how long it wants to wait before replying. And then essentially, um, this is where you can then fill in the details specific. So information collection, what do you want to get the bot to get? Usernames, types of questions you can add in. Appointment booking, uh, this is a test account, so we haven't got any calendars linked here. But if you clicked, select the calendar, it will then also then pull that across and allow you to have a calendar essentially attached where you can then be trying to use the AI to drive people to it. Um, and you can allow the bots to reschedule appointments, cancel appointments, literally do everything across the board here. So that's essentially how this works from a uh, call setting point standpoint. We're just gonna just click that because we don't have that on here. If you then click save, or then come up with this last prompt. Now, it's going to come up with uh, conversation AI off, suggestive, and autopilot. Now, essentially, what does this mean? So off means it's completely off. Uh, autopilot means it will reply to every single message and handle the same conversations. And suggestive prompts will actually mean it comes up in the chat window in Go High Level in the conversation section to give examples in terms of what you can send. You also have advanced settings here as well, where it allows you to add in more and more details. Um, so this is exactly how it works, and you can add in additional instructions uh, and update the conversation guidelines. Now, what I'm gonna give to you is a sneaky hack. And if you DM me on Instagram, AI conversation guidelines at Charlie Johnson Fitness, I will send you the exact conversation guidelines we use within our own business. So you can plug and play these into yours. Uh, you just need to obviously adjust it slightly for your own business. But this is literally a prompt we use in our own business with all of our clients that gets the AI conversations to crush. And this is exactly how you set up uh, AI conversations. And what we do is I'm actually gonna show you what the prompts look like on a live account. So I've got multiple uh, accounts here. So if we find a conversation, so if we click here, for example, conversation AI bot was active. So this is on full AI mode here, right? So here you can actually switch this on and off and turn inactive on conversations if you want to. So if I put this inactive, you can actually toggle conversations off if you want, say for example, a setter to come in and handle it. That's essentially how, kind of how that works. So that's exactly how you use conversation AI within uh, Go High Level. Now, what I'm gonna show you now is how to use workflows. So if you go to uh, automations, now automations are essentially where you can create uh, automation within your business. So like onboarding flows, booking sales calls, uh, like triggers the sequences that you want to be automated. Now, I've never personally used this because I understand how to use uh, AI and how to use, sorry, how to use automations correctly and have done this many, many times. I've been doing this for seven, eight years. Um, now, the reality with these, what you want to do is put in the best prompt to get the right response. So let's say, for example, I want to uh, create a onboarding sequence for a new fitness client who's joining uh, our coaching program, right? 
what I would do is just what I said to you. I would go back to AI. I would then go, um, give me the best prompt to put into Girl High Level to create uh, an onboarding flow for a new client when they join our program. Make this short and concise. Cool. So that's it. Copy and paste. Come in here uh, and then pop, paste that in. And now, essentially, what this has basically done is just mapped out step by step how essentially we need to build this automation. So, your first, literally, if you just copy what it says, step by step guide trigger. Um, and I think one thing to be sick. It's not there yet, is you'll be able to put this workflow uh, to use where that eventually just be able to build the whole thing for you, like it can with funnels, as I'm gonna show you on later in this video. This bit I actually think is a bit clunky, you have to do this manually, I think it's a bit like retarded in my opinion. Um, I think they should really be able to automate this. But essentially here you literally go payment received, payment received, and then you basically just add that trigger in. So um, that's essentially how you would just follow this along in terms of the actual sequences. Uh, work. So trigger one, payment received, and then you put uh, next one, it said send welcome email, so you literally click, it be a send email, send email, and save action. It's like monkey see, monkey do, incredibly simple. So if you have no idea how to build automations, this will literally just do it for you, but I would use ChatGPT to give you the right prompt to try and get it to steer you in the right direction. Now, this is one of the things that I think uh, as Go High Level evolves, AI evolves, this will all be able to be done straight away and it will be automated and make it way, way easier for you. So next thing we're gonna cover is how to use content AI and go high level. So you wanna to go to marketing, you need to have a social media account linked into here so you can con connect your Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, or whatever you want. Um, click new post, content AI, this will then load up. Now, if I'm also being transparent with this, I think it's a bit janky. I probably wouldn't use this over like other AI tools yet, but you can see where this is going, where it's all gonna be in one platform. So let's say, for example, we wanna make a post. Um, what's the core message behind the Instagram post? Uh, why men need to be in great shape to be great business owners. Let's do that. Uh, inspire others and create brand awareness. Uh, number of variations, three, additional options. We don't need those, but it gives you more examples in terms of how you can add more details into this. Click generate. And then you can also create brand voice, which is essentially where you add in more information about you and your brand, so it's more specific. So if you look at brand voice, for example, you can use start from scratch, or you can use text or URL, so you can upload all your own branding documents, or you can also just put your own website in. So this is obviously gonna be fairly generic because it's not got a great base to go off, but you can see, for example, here, want to drive your business forward, give me some good copy here. Uh, looking to take your business to new heights, begin by strengthening your foundation your body. So personally, whenever I'd use AI, I'd put a prompt in and ask it to remove these dashes. It's probably gonna say fucking fluff in here or somewhere as well, so we'll make sure that's off. Uh, and that's essentially how you'd use it from a copy standpoint. Again, this is only as good as the, um, as good as the prompts you put into them, which is something important to be aware of. Now, when it comes to actually designing this out, it also has something else that's quite cool. So if we go content AI again, uh, so Instagram post, uh, write me a lifestyle post that's inspiring um, for business owners, let's put that out for example. Um, inspire others, and click generate. Cool, so now it comes up again with different copy here. You can just can keep doing this over and over and over again. So if we go to continue, now this is where it gets interesting, is we select the social media account. Now, the other tools you can use with this, this is interesting, you can get it to actually create, um, you can post them here, but you can also get it to create AI images. So if you click on the image button, go create image using AI, write me, uh, sorry, write me, uh, You've got a selection, you can describe what image you want and put in what type of image style you want. Photo, digital art, fine art, sketch. Leave it, let's play around, let's do sketch. So let's say, uh, make me a, what's the caption? Make me, business, find every business a vision that's head stream. Uh, I would do maybe like, make me a uh, image of a business owner 
standing on stage and inspiring his team as an authority. Make it look like the Wolf of Wall Street. Make three variations and then click generate and see what it comes up with. So sometimes it can come up with some pretty wild stuff. What's this gonna make? That's actually pretty fucking sick to be fair. Look, so I personally like the black and white one. I uh, So you see how the prompt is a key, right? So it said like the Wolf of Wall Street, the guy stands like this on top of the stage, Leonardo DiCaprio. So let's say continue. And that's basically just mapped out a post for us. So. I personally think that that's actually quite a cool graphic. I, I would, could you make that into a carousel, it'd be quite cool. You then literally just click post and that's how simple it is to use AI. I think this is gonna prove massively and obviously the more data and knowledge you put into this, the better it gets. So this is kind of a work in progress, but it's a really, really quick thing you can also use for graphics. I like how it can use different styles from photograph to like fine art. The next tool I wanna show you is how you can build websites like that. And this is one of the big things a lot of people really struggle with is how do they actually build out their own funnels? Uh, and where do they even start with that? Like, what does that look like? So if we click on funnel, if we go to sites, funnels, funnel AI, click continue, name of business, let's call it uh, Mike's videography. Select industry, uh, film, I come up. Film production company, let's say that, next. Uh, I'm looking for a funnel for my film production company to generate more leads, generate more appointments. Actually, let's make it relevant, so let's do personal trainer. Okay, so personal trainer, uh, Mike's personal training, Mike's PT, let's go next. Generate more leads, content should feel friendly, professional, let's go for professional, generate. Now, what this will do, it will now start to build the funnel for us. Now, this is what I think the workflow AI will eventually end up doing, where you can literally just click, 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 and it will just click and build everything out for you, because I don't really understand why you have to do that manually. Um, but this is insane how this can build like an example template and obviously need some type of tweaking. Another kind of tool I think that would be cool for a um, go high level to build would be like a presentations deck where you can make like Canva and stuff like that, I think would be insane as well. Um, so this is definitely something I would look at in terms of, from their standpoint, to try and build in. But as this builds out, we'll then see what this spits back out. So here you go. So this is Mike's PT website. Book your sessions. You would just change this to say for an online coach to book your call. Uh, transfer, transfer fitness for journey with Mike's PT. Obviously, you want to change the copy. You've got generic uh, images here. But it's not bad. Like, bear in mind this is done automatically, and that literally took like 30 seconds. So you just need to customize the whole thing in terms of like the copy you want. But the framework is very good as an overall that you could use, right? So um, as something that's very, very quick, like people previously would have charged you like a couple of thousand to try and create you something like this. Whereas now you can literally do that in like 30 seconds flat, which I think is one of the wild things that we have with Go High Level from an AI perspective. One of the last AI tools I would actually share is if anyone uses um, websites like uh, Trustpilot, you can use the reputation feature here and it actually allows you to go back and use AI to uh, reply to the uh, responses you have come through and set up email templates. And you can put all of this in here. So um, automatic replies suggested and exactly how you want this to happen. So um, one thing I would also suggest you do is if you're not using Go High Level, you can get a 14 day free trial and also opt into the summer of AI, um, which is essentially a huge discount where you get all these AI agents for completely free. So if you hit the link below this video, you can get access to that and then also unlock the AI employee for free within all the trials. Now, in my opinion, um, Go High Level is the best platform out there in terms of like the Swiss army knife that can do everything within your business. Is it the best at every single thing? No. But is it the best overall product market fit? Yes. In particular, the way it's developing and also forward thinking. I think some of the gaps they're gonna improve massively we basically run our whole business on the whole thing. So I'd highly recommend checking it out. If you took value from the video, smash the like button, comment below any questions, and if you want more like in-depth breakdowns of how we use some of these softwares in our own business, then put it in the comments and I'll get it made. If you took some value, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get your own Go High Level set up, hit the link below the video and you can get a 14-day free trial and also get access to the AI employee.